Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 2022 Oscatch World Cup. Dolan here, and I'll be joined by Luminite once again for our final match of the weekend, our final match of the quarterfinals, final match of the winner's bracket. The third-seeded United States taking on our sixth-seeded Canada for that last spot in the winner's bracket semifinals. So as I said, I'm Dolan, joined by Luminite. Luminite, what's going on? I'm currently uh, consuming lunch, doing so discreetly. Gonna have a nice meal while I watch this extremely, extremely exciting match. I think everyone is looking forward to this match. It's gonna be a shame that we're gonna have to say goodbye. Well, actually, no, not a goodbye. No, it's a winner's bracket. Yeah. It's a shame that one of these teams are gonna have to go down to the loser's bracket. Australia will get the loser of this match in the loser's bracket. South Korea awaiting the winner in the semifinals. These two, teams are no, yep, these two teams are no stranger to each other. They have competed with each other in many a community tournament. US, Canada, Chile are all quite familiar with one another. Uh, so this is going to be a very calculated match by the captains. Should get right down to it. These teams know exactly what the other is all about. So they should know what to pick and ban here. That being said, Canada is going to have some areas of attack here against the United States. They are the underdogs. I think most people would consider them on the back foot, but they're not bereft of talent. And they definitely have some comfort picks available to them in this map pool. They may be underdogs on mods, on mod picks like Hard Rock and Mix Mod, but they're still going to be able to put up a good enough roster to contest them. Uh, no mod, I think, is almost virtually a toss-up. I think you could say the U.S. is slightly favored on no mod. But, I mean, on quarterfinals with these two teams, Sekre rolling a 93. The U.S. will be winning the roll. So let's see what these bands and picks are going to be. You can predict who's going to win the match right now in the chat. Put some channel points up if you'd like. That's open for another eight minutes. All right, so still waiting. And the, oh, ban from Canada is gonna be double time three. No surprise there. DT definitely a uh, US favored that mod bracket. And the U.S. going to be banning Hidden 3, the Hidden Convert. No surprise there. Uh, hidden is going to be probably one of Canada's areas of attack here. The U.S. still have a Hidden roster, but it's probably their weakest mod, I would say. Of all the mod pools Hidden, by far and away, is their weakest. Uh, so Canada will probably look to attack there, maybe mix Mod. And Hard Rock, Canada strong on hard rock as well they definitely have good hard rock players too I just don't know exactly who to give the edge to on hard rock I'd say the US in terms of consistency uh, but Canada definitely have speed players it's just double time that Canada are probably going to try to avoid as kind of alluded to by that ban from Canada so the US will have the first pick they are on the clock Yazzie putting them on the clock and we'll see which map will get this match started. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know if I would, um, I think Mixmon is probably the United States' best feature. So I don't expect Canada to be striking on Mixmon. If they do, it would, I would think, speak to a lot of confidence on that pick. But in general, <clears throat> of course you have to take the Captain Secker's, uh, uh, his opinion with a grain of salt, but we have heard him call the United States the uh, the best mixed mod team in the tournament. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Well, they're gonna they, strike they, first. Yep, Hard Rock three. The U.S. definitely liking their Hard Rock, um, but they're gonna go with the Convert Wild Card. We have seen this popular pick. It's been in almost every single match 
So for the United States, we see Secre, Colin, and DeCreeper currently in the lobby. Ymir lining up for Canada, awaiting some teammates. AR 9.2, but when you put Hard Rock on, it's 10. Just over two minutes in length. So not exactly the longest of maps here. Mistake could be crucial. So Ymir is going to be joined by Henrik and Wadbot from Canada. It looks like these are going to be the six players to kick off this match here in the North American Derby, I guess you could say. Third seed against the sixth seed. South Korea await the winner. Australia await the loser in the loser bracket. And it looks like we're just getting some technicalities all sorted out, making sure everyone's on the right team. And we are going to get this match underway. So this is the optimal Hard Rock lineup from the United States. Um, what's crazy is Lexi could swap in as a fourth for any one of these players, so they kind of have a lot of room on Hard Rock here. Hard Rock double time, the U.S. definitely speed enjoyers. And we're going to get underway here. And nobody's going to be taken hidden. So, wild card, our first map of this match. Pick from the United States. Client loading in, and we are underway. The spinner is actually going to go to Canada. By about one banana or two. A medium length map, like you said. The density is not exactly too high. Oh, we have our first drop, double drop on Canada already. Ready? Yeah, early misses here from Canada. Pre-200 combo, so they're gonna have a chance to kind of build that back up, but still not good to see two combos fall that early. But thankfully for them, the United States can't fully capitalize off them because they themselves were not a 200 combo. Now as all the players get up to 200 combo, Henrik and Ymir are gonna be trailing behind here. Oh, but they are going to go down again. It's Henrik and Wadbot this time. And no misses from the U.S. So the U.S. are going to start to build a pretty healthy score margin. It is over 200,000 points and growing halfway through. Ymir is down, and things are going to get really ugly for Canada now. U.S. really stretching that lead. Trip SS. Henrik goes down. Colin is going to be the first American miss. It's traded by Ymir. Still the Creeper and Sekre holding the SS's into the final quarter. 300,000 plus advantage for the United States. Doesn't seem to be anything Canada can really do unless there's just a complete meltdown from the Americans. Final eighth of the map. And that is going to do it. We'll see if the two American players can bring home full combos. Sekre and DeCreeper. Indeed, they will. Big win for the United States. 300,000 points on their opening pick. 1-0. Canada up to pick. Just a single miss from Colin on the side of the USA. So Canada now. We'll have the pick, and we'll see where they elect to go with it. They might be eyeing up that hidden pool. The United States banning out the convert was telling. But we'll see what ideas Canada have for their first pick as the referee puts them on the clock. Hidden two, so yep, Canada... Going with the JBH map here. This is no surprise. Canada, one of the better hidden teams in the tournament. 
Let's hope this uh, this time Hidden 2 gets started much faster than it did in the last match. Yeah, last time this map was picked, there was a severe delay. So let's hope that is not the case here. We see Lexi checking in for his first appearance of the match. As well as Unlucky W and Katsuragi on the side of Canada. They'll join Henrik. So, interesting to see who's going to come in here for the United States. This is a pro trade 9, so we could see Zach. We might see Zach. Or Elux. It is going to be it's Zach. It's going to be Zach. The one and only Zach in his 10th consecutive World Cup appearance for the United States. He'll join Lexi and Secre on this hidden pick. They'll be going up against Henrik Katsuragi and Unlucky W. The standard hidden lineup for Canada. It is a very scary hidden lineup. But again, there's tons of hidden experience in this lobby. Just waiting, and there is the start command. So round number two going to get underway. Hidden two. No issues booting this map up this time, thankfully. Thankfully, all is well this time. Crucial on these hidden maps that you get a good start because you can do a lot of trolling if you just find early misses and put that mental in the gutter. So far, so good through the first hundred combo. Dead even. Just a droplet miss from Unlucky W. That is literally the only difference maker. All players now above that 200 combo cap. And everyone looking comfortable. Now building up to that first key eye. We'll see if it catches anyone. They've got it well scouted, well read. Oh, the technical wiggle there. Everyone gets it. Henrik and Unlucky, the only people finding any drop. Oh, oh Unlucky oh, trade action. Traded by Zach. Traded by Zach. So that is very fortunate for Canada. But it is a ever so slight advantage for the U.S. It's gone now. Secre missing in that slow section. And now Canada in front halfway through. It's less than a one miss advantage for Canada. Probably is going to come out to about one miss by the time Zach and Secre both get to 200. As we approach the final third of the map. Still some phenomenal play here. Still four full combos. Zach goes down once again, so Canada stretching it. Henrik is also going to find a miss, so that'll trade one of the misses from Zach. And that'll keep Canada from completely running away with it in the final quarter, but Zach is struggling. Sekre goes down, Katsuragi and Henrik also. So that's a complete trade. Only Lexi and Unlucky W above the 200 combo cap. Zach really struggling now in the final quarter. Canada. Yeah, we're going to want to see more Canadian misses for the United States to make up that cap. We're already coming up to the last final section of the map, though. It's about 60, 70K in favor of Canada. Lexi goes down. Last FC for the United States is gone. Unlucky W, the only big combo. And all Canadian players above 200 combo in the United States. Triple miss. Canada will equalize this one at one apiece. The only question is by how many points. A triple miss from Canada at the end there. That's kind of funny. But they are going to win by a healthy margin of 130k. 
and tie this one up at one apiece. USA up to pick next. So that was actually very close until kind of the back half of the map, until we got to the final third. Things really fell apart for the Americans. But the Canadian consistency on hidden, shining through. So the United States, they went with the Hard Rock Convert on their first pick. They now are going to eye up the pool again. They might be looking at that double time, might be looking at that mix mod. It's honestly really hard to predict where these teams are going to pick because it's both open. It's a completely open pool for them. And they're going to actually go with no mod 2 here, the US are. So they're going to go with the Tech Gemsy map here. No mod specific. Two minutes, 18 seconds. We see Secre, Lexi, and the Creeper in for the United States. The Creeper subbing in for Zach. We'll see if Canada swap any of their players. So interesting strat here for the United States. We kind of see they're going with two short maps off the rip for the first two picks. And it looks like Canada are going to go with these three players. I'm sure they're debating it. There will be no Fooey. Only substitution is going to be the Creeper in for Zach. AR 9.5. Six star map. One of the few six star maps in the pool. Of course, pools will be scaling up, so we'll be seeing more of those. Here we go. Both teams getting away cleanly, except for the Creeper. They're finding a miss right at that 200 combo mark, so Canada will have an early advantage. One missed lead. And that's honestly what Canada need. They want a shot. At the end of this match, they need to get an early break point and get some momentum going. They've got a one miss advantage right now. A third of the way through. But still, that could change in a flash. Unlucky W is going to find the first miss for Canada. So, one miss to one miss. Score bar should equalize. Halfway through, they are neck and neck as Unlucky W reaches up for that 200 combo mark. The US is going to have a very, very small lead of about maybe 5 to 10k, no more than 10k max. It's less than a miss, it's based off of accuracy. And Creeper maybe might have missed right before 200, but. Compass of Rocky matter. finding a number of misses there. Yeah, went off in the stream section, gets right back on. Advantage United States into the final quarter. Canada are still within striking distance, but are trailing. Again, FC's coming out from Henrik, Sacre, Lexi. And they all see at the break. It's roughly 40k in favor of the United States. There's a little over one miss. An unlucky, unlucky W. He is going to go down. And Katsuragi as well. And that point will go to the United States. Unfortunate for Canada there. They had it. Early advantage. Just could not hold on to it. United States pull back their pick. Two to one. SS is coming out of Secre and Henrik. Double FC from the Americans. One miss from DeCreeper. That's the second time we've seen that. Lexi has funny number.
in his score. He does. He really does have a funny number. There's a funny number there. I'm sure the chat will catch up eventually. But Canada, up for their second pick. Where do they go from here? Is it hidden one? Or do they explore mixed mod maybe? It is going to be mixed mod one. A little bit of a risky pick, but I mean, they can't, you can't win a match with just two points, so they were going to have to go into mixed mod probably at some point in time. The FD fluoride map. So we will probably see Lexi and Henrik on hidden. I would imagine. But I could be wrong. That's the thing is, these teams, these two teams are very good mixed mod teams. Uh, they both have rosters that are so flexible for mixed mod. What? It, uh, apparently, this is Captain Ask the Commentator for advice. Who do you think I am, John Madden? This, this I is... believe I believe that we have all the answers. Like we we already know what the score yeah. of this is going to be, right? So you and I are just we're just here for uh for um for the hype. We already know we already know who wins this year, right? We know everything. You don't you don't have to go out and say it, man. I may have accidentally exposed our secrets, but it's fine. What do you mean accident? <laughs> anyway, here's how the mods line up. It's going to be Sekre and Ymir on Hard Rock. Lexi and Henrik on Hidden. The Creeper and Wadbot are going to be the no mods. So this is a very crucial point here for Canada. Yeah, they want to keep the back and forth momentum they have with the United States going for as long as possible. Definitely don't want to find a break point any earlier than they need to. I think this is very much a 50-50 pick. A virtual toss-up on who takes this. The Creeper is going to find the first miss. So advantage Canada. That's one Nomad down. And again, a short map here. Two minutes, 13 seconds. The density isn't very high at all either. So misses are gonna be punishing. As you can see, the early miss from Decreeper, he's just now gotten up to that 200 combo cap and we're already at a million team score, a third of the way through the map essentially. So it's a one miss advantage for Canada. However, if there is a miss on the Hard Rock player, for Canada, that would flip it. It's weighted more. Oh, Ooh, yeah, we see a miss from the Nomad, though. Yep, that is an even trade, so score gap should equalize just over halfway through. And other than that, there's just a drop of miss on Ymir. That's the only difference. It is going to be crazy close. Wabbot just now getting up to that 200 combo mark right as the United States take it. It, it's crazy close. Final quarter. Yeah, it is flickering still. Oh, Henry is taking a miss. That is That's a gonna, massive, massive miss. Yeah, it's going to give the lead to the United States as we head to the end of the map. It's, this is, like I said, this is not where Canada wants to find. Oh, no, and Amir is going to find a miss. So and is this, Henrik once again. This is going to be Breakpoint United States. It was... Well fought by Canada, but Mixed Mod is just a risky pick. They had to get risky, though. But the United States able to pull through with a single miss on their Nomad. And that is 3 to 1 USA. Double, double F on the United States side from Secre and Lexi. Yeah, two miss from DeCreeper. A good performance from Wabot, just the single miss. On Nomad, but unfortunately Henrik and Ymir struggling at the end. 
very close map all the way till the end. But now the United States will have a chance to really, really build on this advantage. If they can convert their next pick. So looking at the map pool. Two hard rocks, three double times, one mix mod, three no mods, one no hit. mod four. Going with the no mod convert. What I still think is probably the roughest map I've seen played in this stage. I think everyone I've watched play no mod four has struggled to some extent. It is a very difficult convert. Some high density piano action coming at you, folks. And it's a very short map, too. Did you know it's I actually very... played this live? This is actually a recording of me playing. <laughs> wow. That's pretty yeah, impressive. I've made, I've made lots of money off of um, royalties. So, you know, just, just whenever you listen to the song, just realize I played it. <laughs> All right. BPM of over 200 on a map on on a under two minute map. That's pretty nuts. Give you an idea of what they're going to be dealing with. AR 9.7. So high AR convert, high density, and it's over in a flash. Yeah, as we talk about with length and uh, the the extent of how punishing misses can be. When it comes to a map that is this short but is this dense, it kind of evens itself out. There are going to be no substitutions from either side. Still Sekre, Lexi, and Creeper against Katsuragi, Henrik, and a lucky W. Round number five. Pick from the United States. Henrik the first miss. Along with wow. Katsuragi and Sekre and Lexi. So only the Creeper and Unlucky W holding through. The United States will have a slight advantage if based off the timing of the misses. Unlucky W unlucky, will be going man. down. And yeah, no, no full combos left on Canada now. It's just a Creeper, the only FC, and now the United States have trip combos over 200, but Sekri goes down. And Lexi. So once again, just a Creeper. Henrik, though, is there to prevent the United States from running away with it. Unlucky W now back over 200. Katsuragi is getting there as well. This is going to be very close. We're coming up to the halfway mark. Already there now, and the American player is just now hitting 200. It's literally 30,000 points. It's a single miss. No Step misses in. on that extremely dense section there. And yeah, no, no misses on that breakdown. Here comes some jumps. Oh, Katsuragi on that Quick little transition. We'll find a miss. That is not what Canada needed. It's gonna find another out. one too. The, the creeper, creeper now better. breaking. But they need more. Secre and Lexi are there. Final eighth of the map. Canada are trying to pull it back. But are they gonna get any more misses from the Americans? Final sections. Katsuragi goes Ragi. down, and the United States will take the point, 4-1. Canada up next. No FCs there. Just a really solid team performance from the United States, all coming in at roughly mid to low 900s. Katsuragi really struggling there. Just got caught out on those awkward spacings. So Canada will now have a chance to respond and they need a point badly. Hidden one is the pick. So no surprise. They're going right back to hidden. The Ascendance map.
another short map. That seems to be the theme of the match. Only one consistency map picked. And we will see Elux checking in for his first appearance of the match. Alongside Sekre and Lexi. So Elux, uh, one of the, another one of the hidden players for the United States. With Zach, kind of the hidden package. So they will be sending in Elux instead of Zach. That is going to be the only sub. That's interesting for Canada. Same roster coming into their third map in a row. But this is why Elux was brought onto the team for the low to help reinforce that low AR hidden. AR 8.2, a BPM of only 130. And it's only 100 seconds long. <laughs> we are underway. The United States is going to take the spinner. <clears throat> Any miss really could sway it on a map this short. Henrik is going to be the first one to drop. Elux will trade. Oh, but Elux really found a bunch of misses there. Down to 98%. Unlucky W is going to be the second miss. Elux will trade, but the American players. Two players over 200 combo. They're going to start to pull this. Henrik, another miss. And it seems that Elux has recovered. But Unlucky W and Henrik continuing to struggle here. Yeah, they're finding a lot of drops there. Yeah, and Elux back up to 200 combo. All American players above the 200 combo cap. So damage is really being done here. Final quarter, Sekre will go down. So Elux is Elix. The There's a double miss, Sekre He's again. Gonna, Sekre's gonna miss even more. Unlucky W is gonna trade one of them. Sekre and Unlucky missing at the same time once again. Oh, Lexi also goes down at the very end, but too little too late. The damage had already been done by the Americans. And that is gonna be five to one. Now Chris. match point. For a second, that score difference was really starting to come right back over to Canada, but there wasn't enough time. And both players on the now, players on both I, teams. I, I'd, like to, to, I'd like to analyze these A ranks here. These are some interesting A ranks. <laughs> Identical miscount. Identical miscount. Elux with a slightly better accuracy than Sacre, but Sacre coming in with about 50k more points. Some spicy A ranks from the United States. But hey, all that matters is the score. Match point, United States, using that term correctly this time. And they have the pick. And it'll be double time to the Bunray map. That's what the U.S. are going to try to put this one away with. And it really is a shame. Canada have put up a decent showing in several of these maps. They've been closer than what the scoreboard kind of would indicate. But the overall consistency has just been on the side of the U.S. You know, the United States being one of those, one of the contending catch giants these past few years, really showing why they've come up to that sort of level of the playing catch the former grand finalists they're looking to get back to a grand finals 
for the first time since 2018. Double time two. Let's see, no substitutions. Just a creeper coming in for Elux on the side of the United States. That will be it. Just making sure everyone is on the correct team. No immigrants. Also, you may are subbing in for a lucky W on the side of Canada. So Canada, winner's bracket life on the line. They are going to need five in a row. Or they will go to the loser's bracket. And here we go. Start command is in. Again, this map is over in a flash. Even shorter than the previous one. Over in 96 seconds with double time applied. Henry already out of the gate with a miss. Yeah, very early miss pre-200, so Canada will have a chance to flip that. Unless the United States triple up see it. It's Henrik find wants another to one, though. Sacre will trade it. Right as all the players get up to 200 combo, though, so... All those misses might offset. Oh, the Creeper off the going a down. Now. So Canada now, a chance to take control here on this double time pick, and they will. As you said, it's over in a flash. We're already halfway through. Yep, and it's still very close. But Canada in control. The United States need a miss from Canada. They're going to oh, get one from Wadbod. Right as I say that, Wadbod with the drop. U.S. back in charge. Lexi Lexi will trade it. Never mind. Canada back in the lead. Wadbod another miss. Gonna give it again. That's gonna, it's it's almost identical. Canada just have a very small minuscule lead. Now the US with the slight lead. Creeper goes down. Canada oh my goodness. Lead. Final eighth of the map. Canada's tournament life are on the line in the winner's bracket. What well, funny I'm in It's gonna get close to the very end. Is that gonna Canada be enough? Have it. Canada might have a break point. As long as they don't miss on these last sections. They have they it. They win it by 1,400 oh points. By 1,400 points, Canada have their second point, and it is a break point, ladies and gentlemen. This game is not over. They tried to put it away, like you said, with this double-time pick. It failed. Canada taking that pick. Ymir coming up big for Canada with the only FC in the lobby. So, Canada... We'll now have another pick here. Still facing elimination from the winner's bracket. They need four more to win the match. This is this the beginning of a reverse sweep. Something's telling me they're either going to go mixed mod 2 or no mod 1. There is absolutely, I do not see a universe in which they pick no mixed mod 2. No, there's no way. Those are just the only two picks that kind of make sense for Canada here. Yeah, they are all out of pit in, that's true, but... Mixed Mod is just not... It's not a smart place to go. I don't think a Mixed Mod will go in their favor. I think that's pretty much, to me, a, a, a guaranteed American point. I think, I think they have a better shot on Mixed Mod than they would on either of the double times. Yep, Mixed Mod too! We will see how this fares. So we're going to go back to some mixed mod gaming. And we do see Elux checking back in here. So for Canada, it looks like it's going to be Mir, Henrik, and Katsuragi.
and the Americans still sorting things out. It will most likely be Secre or De Creeper filling in that top slot. Yep. So Secre, Elux, Lexi. So it's going to be Secre and Ymir on Hard Rock, Elux and Henrik on Hidden. Lexi and Katsuragi are going to be the Nomads. But say this is an interesting choice to put Elux on the level are hidden, but this is what he's specifically trained for on the roster. So Lexi's going to come in just to be the reinforcing Nomad. But again, I, I feel like this is just the only pick that kind of allowed Canada to, be, to really shine. I mean, it's just unfortunate that their strong suit is also what the U.S. happened to be good at as well, but... They nearly took the Mix Mod 1 picks, so. though. They're going to take their shot on Mix Mod 2. Start Command is in. Match point number two for the United States. This one is Canada's pick. Could be a 5-3, or it could end here at 6-2. Again, a very short map. This one, two minutes in length. Looks like the okay, United never, States is going to oh, take wait, the spinner. Wait. I'm sorry, we got debated. Uh, it's going to be Lexi and Katsuragi on hidden. Henrik and Elux going to be the Nomad. Wow. That also makes sense. Lexi, one of the best hidden players in the world. Ooh, our first miss comes from Canada. Ymir. And that is the Hard Rock player, so that's the heaviest weighted miss. Oh, oh. double miss from Elux and Lexi. Canada in front. Never mind. And we're just now approaching the halfway point. Sekre goes down as well. Canada will have a two miss lead. Lexi and Henrik both finding misses now. He's going to offset. Elux will find yet another miss in Canada. Have this one well scouted. Lexi found another one too. It's going to give a larger advantage for Canada. Well, it would, but Ymir did find a miss. Sekre trading it is going to give it right back to Canada, though. Final quarter. Lexi Canada finding yet healthy, another miss. Mark. Katsuragi breaking now. Ymir breaking again. It doesn't matter, though, because the Americans have nothing. They all broke as well. Henrik going down, but it's okay. Nobody has nothing, anything. Secret highest combo. There is over 100k points to turn back. And you cannot do that when you don't have three combos over 200. So Canada will be taking yet another point. It is 5-3. to three. The United States up to pick. It'll be their last pick of the match. Everyone's struggling with that pick, though. Sekre, the only one really um, seeming to have a good time on it. Yeah, the only one to break a million in the lobby. But unfortunately for Sekre, Elux and Lexi both really did not have a good time on that. So the United States up to pick now. And now things are kind of interesting here because they, they lost the last double time. Or, my bad, no, they lost the mix mod here. They're probably going to go double time. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're definitely going to go back to double time. I mean, even though they barely lost it by 1,400... Because they first, don't, because if you're the U.S., you, you, if you're the U.S., you don't want to waste your pick on Nomad One here. No way true. you're gonna pick that. Uh, I think it's also possible. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it's really possible for them to dip into Hard Rock. The first point wild card was Hard Rock, and so they're gonna go right into Hard Rock too. Yeah, maybe not wanting to go back to double time after they got that 
1400 point win, not wanting to potentially give them momentum. So they'll go back to Hard Rock. Secre, De Creeper, Lexi in the United States. Colin, though, is also in, but he's on the Canadian side for some reason. He's immigrated to Canada. He's officially a Canadian citizen. And there he goes. So he'll be stepping in for Lexi. Got Rocky checking in, waiting for some teammates on the Canadian side. We'll be joined by Wadbot. Probably Ymir. Yep, Ymir coming in to round out the Hard Rock roster for Canada. So match point number three for the United States. This time it is their pick. They lost their first match point pick. Yep. This time in Hard Rock, though. And this will be their last pick of the match. So their last chance to close it out. Now on the bright side, if the United States does lose this and the next point, I know that Sekre is a very big fan of this stage's tiebreaker. So at least he'll get to play it. <laughs> I'm sure he would rather not, especially after being up five to one. <laughs> Hey, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to look on the bright side, all right. When you're up five-one, you typically don't want to end up playing the tiebreaker. So here we go. Start command coming in. Good old Hatsune Miku. Never gets old. Even now in 2022. Made by Minium and Oresti. This is actually one of the longest maps we've seen in the match up at three minutes in length. Henrik and Ymir early misses. One of them will be traded by Colin. And we're going to get a refresh on the client. Not everyone was quite synced up there evenly. So it looks like we did have some more misses. Or no, we didn't actually. Nobody found another miss. So the creeper is going to be the next miss. Canada the now. The score bar all over the place. Yeah, it's trying to catch up, man. <laughs> So all Canadian players now about to reach that 200 combo mark. And they will continue to grow that advantage. Sakurai finding, Sakurai finding a miss. miss. And Canada holding strong. Canada really putting up a comeback here. And the Creeper now reaching that 200 combo mark. The US still bleeding though. They have a combo below 200. Canada. Cruising with nearly 100,000 points of advantage at the halfway mark. But that's not enough to guarantee the win just yet. That's exactly where you want to be if you're Canada. Now everyone at 200 combo. Final third of the now. next key eye after this breakdown section. We'll see if anyone It really does, does come down to all those key eye jumps. Henrik going Henrik. down. That is gonna change things, but the US need more. Decreeper is gonna trade the miss from Henrik. Final quarter. Canada. Looking very strong here. The U.S. would need all oh, in finding a miss now. That's going to further put them behind the eight ball. The U.S. essentially would need a team miss from Canada at this point to stand a chance. 
and it is not going to happen. Only one miss coming from Wadbot, and that is not enough for the United States. Canada really putting up a comeback. This is another break point. The United States no longer have any control in this matchup. Yep. They have no more picks. This was their last pick. Seeing a few misses from Henrik and the Creeper and Colin, but it's not going to change the direction of the match. Canada is going to be in the driver's seat Three for this tiebreaker million. point. Well, it's not going to tiebreaker just yet. Canada have to convert one more point first. And you have to wonder if a timeout is going to be called at some point. <clears throat> because if you're Canada, this, this, this is a very important pick. Yep. You might as well burn that bad boy. Unless they just know and want to hop right into the map, that's the only reason you wouldn't want to use the timeout. The question is, though... Yep, there's the timeout. Yep, yeah, and because look, look at this. None of their next picks are enviable, really. Yep. They're... Again, no mod. No mod one, pure coin flip. No mod three, basically coin flip here. I think if you're Canada, you gotta go with probably either Hard Rock One or DT One. They're probably debating on which Hard Rock or Double Time. I don't think they want to risk it all on Nomad. Nomad, not after they've come this far. Three unanswered points from Canada, but they are facing a massive decision. So Canada using their timeout. They'll get two more minutes on top of the two minutes they had, so in total they will have four minutes on this pick. I have to say, I was I'm a proponent that I expect Canada to to have gone with something like no mod one to to I get what you're saying, but I feel like if I'm Canada, I'm like, alright, let's play something that we're all on the same we're all on the same level. No mods. No nothing. Let's just it. hope that we can be more consistent than the U.S. on this yeah. pick. And so there's the additional two minutes being added. So two minutes remaining on the pick. But we know Canada are also just in the zone on Hard Rock right now. So they obviously called a timeout because they have a tough decision to make. If they knew what they were going to pick, they wouldn't have called the timeout. So obviously... It is a big pick, too, because, I mean, again, they've had their backs against the wall from the start of the match. They were down 5-1. They have to convert this pick to see a tie break. So we'll see where they go with it. Honestly, though, I, I, I couldn't tell you which map they pick. I just say it's probably not going to be a no mod. Because here's the thing is they've won on double time. They've won on hard rock. So why would you go with the with the coin flippy option? But it's a tough decision because they know the United States better than most teams in the tournament. They have played with them in community tournaments. They've played against them. They know each other well, so understandably a tough decision. <laughs> Set gray. So guys, how y'all doing? Yeah. It's going to be double time, time one. one. DT one. And again, Hard Rock Wonder double time one just seemed like the only two logical choices. And it, ultimately at this point, what it comes down to if you're candidates, which map are you the most confident on in your team's abilities? Forget how good the opponent is. They've come That's all this true. way. At this point, you just have to pick your best map of what's left. And after much debate, they have gone with double time one. Tiebreaker, war, bust. Yep, they have put up quite the comeback. So this will be match point number four for the United States. Before we get into this final pick, if you are a huge fan, 
the United States, Canada, or any of the other teams that are qualified, since you can buy banners for any of the teams that are qualified, please head over to the OSU store and buy yourself a snazzy, fancy banner for only $2.50 United States currency. They're fantastic, and they help support the Catch World Cup and support your favorite team. Here we go. Two minutes, 46 seconds. Air 10.3 with double time applied. Over 200 BPM. Canada's comeback. It's all on the line on this pick. They will either see a tie break or they will be dispatched from the winner's bracket 6-4. Early miss from Canada from Wadbot is going to give a slight edge to the United States at the start. So it's Sekre, the Creeper, and Colin against Henrik, Ymir, and Wadbot. Henrik is going to be the next miss. And that was just after 200 combo, so that one is going to be punished to the full extent. This is a pretty long map, even with double time, though. Almost three minutes long, 246. Mm -hmm. They've gone with a longer one. So Canada not out of this just yet. They're just over a miss behind. A little more than one miss. But they're not done yet. Approaching the halfway mark. Still no signs of discomfort from the United States. Still trip SS's. But everybody else on the Canadian side has recovered and they're looking good too. Colin oh, the first miss from the United States. A roughly 50k point lead is now going to be eroded at the halfway point. The U.S. should still have a small advantage, assuming the recovery goes well. Final third of the map. Canada still within striking distance. The creeper goes down. Henrik, Henrik trades it though. Yep, and that is heartbreak. Oh, he found Henrik found another miss in that slow section too. And that's a brutal miss. But it's still anyone's game. It's still only 20,000 points. Colin is going to find another miss. And that might be enough. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Final quarter of the map. Canada is going to be taking this one. They now have the lead. Canada staring down the tunnel at a tiebreaker. If they hold strong. It is not over yet. Final eighth of the map is coming up. They have to hold strong and they have to deliver here. Or it's all for naught. As Colin gets back up to 200 combo. Closer and closer. Wadbot Wad Wad goes down. It's not traded. It is traded by Colin. It's traded by Colin. Canada holding on. Can they force the tie break? An incredible <laughs> comeback if they can do it. Do they hold on? Colin misses. We're going to tie break. Canada, hold oh, on. Oh, my Every God. Day. Oh, my God. My God! The comeback from five one down. Wow! I said when they were five down, the Canadian the Canadian reverse sweep. They're forcing tiebreaker, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's it's not a reverse sweep if they already had a point. Shut up! I'm trying to be hype. <laughs> an SS from Secre, brilliant effort. Ymir with an SS to count with a FC to counter. What a match, Canada! Have seen this through to the very end. And now it all comes down to this, folks. Tiebreaker is on the cards. United States, Canada. So now, all that effort for a chance to win it all here. Winner gets South Korea in the semis. Loser will face Australia in the loser's bracket next week. Wow. Canada are for real, ladies and gentlemen. The consistency of the U.S. has started to taper off in the second half of this match. And Canada have been there. They have, they've done everything they needed to do. They made the risky picks. They made the bold moves. They didn't pay off at 
in the first half of the match, but they paid dividends now. It took a couple clutch wins, but here we are. Secre de Creeper Lexi against Henrik, Ymir, and Wadbot. Let me remind you what's at stake here, folks. Winner of this match is guaranteed top six, guaranteed finals week appearance. Once again, as you said, also facing South Korea, one of the most dreadful opponents of the World Cup. Blues are going to be facing Australia. It all comes down to this five minutes, 15 second tiebreaker. Brought to us by Manium, Collab Phantom, Culprit, and Zenji Ghost Machine, our tiebreaker for the quarterfinals. Players appear to be readied up. And, oh, wait a minute. We might be getting interesting. They're debating on whether or not they're going to call their timeout, but the United States will elect to not use the timeout. Juan Fontelli wanna... Sacra, his nose is huge. Last seconds. I'm, I'm telling you, these players know each other very well. <laughs> they know each other well, down, yeah. down to their facial features. Just want to throw in a comment it's about your all nose. calculated. Tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. but Yo, just before we get started with the most intense moment of the whole weekend, uh, your nose your big. Your nose is huge. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Can, can you tell who's nervous? <laughs> all right. It all comes down to this. A lot of channel points are at stake. I mean, uh, the tournament. Yeah, that's what we care about. <laughs> so far, everyone holding strong in the opening section of the map. Everyone coming up to that 200 combo cap relatively oh, cool. comfortably. Yep. Everyone's clean through the first 200. Lexi is taking hidden just for reading preferences. It doesn't give you any score bonus and catch. First spinner. And it goes two. U.S. barely. Still no misses to report. We are not even a quarter of the way through, folks. If you don't like the tension, we'll just keep watching. Second. Oh. First miss. So Canada. In front, nearing the quarterway mark. Wadbot is going to try. Oh, Wadbot! Wadbot! Wait a minute. Ooh. Wait a minute. That. Was that. Oh, no. What happened there? That, that appears to be a technical issue of some sort. Has his catcher back under control, but. Oh, no. The mental is gone. It's okay. Although that was a fairly significant miss. Canadians are still not that down that much, about thirty or forty thousand points. This is still, this is still within Lexi yeah. finding a miss too. This is definitely it's still just within that, the realm of possibility. Yeah, it's still within the realm of possibility. It's just that that was such a huge setback because it wasn't just like one miss; it just went straight to the left and missed sections. That takes away from your score. So it's really more like two misses, potentially even more. But thankfully, Wabot is recovering. So good to see. But this match is still not over, as you said, man. He's score bar is still close. Slight edge for the United States off the unfortunate issue for Wadbot. Halfway like a, through now. It look, you know what it did? It looked like a key was stuck. That's what it was. Yeah. It looked like his left arrow key just got stuck. That is worst timing for that to happen, but credit to Wadbot. Gets it unstuck. Gets it going again. And has still got Canada in the match.
halfway point of the tiebreaker. It is a 20, 30,000 point advantage for the United States, about 25 k -ish. A solid miss. In the tech section, oh, lab, lab. Bug running and miss. Yeah, I just missed that hyper dash. So the U.S. will grow the advantage a little bit more. Ymir and Henrik doing the Lord's work. The Creeper goes down. So that miss from Wadbot is traded by the Creeper. Into the final corner. Final quarter of the map. I mean, it's still a one-miss game. This match has been absolutely unconscious. Oh, well, well, I'm gonna oh. Find a miss. that was a tough miss. Missed a hyper on the quick tap dash section there. But the creeper will offset it. Again, it is just the four players that have been holding combo. I mean, still the double FCs for Canada. Amazing. Really keeping them in this match. It's so close. Literally 25,000 points still. That gap has not shrunk. It's looking like an American victory. Uh, it's looking like it, but it's only one miss, bro. Vinyl sections, and you know what? You may be right. Canada might have run out of time. And that's just so heartbreaking for Wadbot about the key getting stuck. But the United States are going to thwart the comeback of Canada and hold on to win it 6-5. You can and really man, see the Wadbot struggle. 45 misses. That you just hate to see such an amazing match end like that. It was so competitive to the very end. Unfortunate for Wadbot. Wow. I and actually, really, I have to. Like, wow. And really, like, credit Wadbot with getting the key stuck, getting it unstuck, and keeping your team within one miss of... Yep the lead the whole way that that is alone is incredible and you know that happened no doubt thanks to the double fc from canada coming out of henrik and unlucky w there but the united states hold on eke out a win in the quarterfinals and they will move on to face south korea in the semis i'm sure there's going to be a lot of looking back on this one from both teams what a match yeah, what a way. Once again, ending our stage on a tiebreaker. I mean, wow. I mean, Canada came and back. They were within five, striking distance that whole tiebreaker. Coming back from 5-1 down to force tiebreaker. Absolutely insane. But unfortunately, Canada, somebody has to lose. And it was Canada. They will play Australia next week in the loser's bracket. That is going to do it for the quarterfinals of the 2022 Oscatch World Cup. Our semifinals are set. Our top four seeds survived their trials to make it to the semifinals. Number one seed China will take on number four seed Indonesia. The second seed South Korea will take on the third seed United States. And as we scroll to the losers bracket, it'll be Russia against Chile, France against Germany, Australia against Singapore? Yes, and then Mexico um, versus um, Italy. Wait a minute. Uh, that can't be right. Oh, Singa for some reason, Singapore is listed as a 6-0 winner over Canada. But is Australia <laughs> Canada, not Singapore. Yes. Is Australia Canada, and then Mexico Italy. So I those didn't are see that. Could I? Could I? Yeah. yeah, I was like, something's wrong. I was like, that should be Canada. But those are our top 12. And that is going to do it for our quarterfinals. Luminite, we ended up getting quite the match on our hands. 
Yeah, I mean, it was looking it was looking like a decisive victory for the United States, and and Canada ran it back. And unfortunately, I I know this is gonna sting for Canada to hear, but if if it wasn't for that key getting stuck, Canada would have taken that. that. They would have taken it, and that would have been a Canadian victory. Probably, actually, yeah. It was but you know, close. nothing better than to end a stage with a tiebreaker, just as we did in the round of 16. So nothing better than that. And that's going to conclude um, quarterfinals weekend. I, that is going to conclude our quarterfinals action. We'll be getting, I don't know when we're going to be getting our semifinal map pool showcase. I'm waiting for some information on that. But we'll be getting the semifinal map pool showcase at some point later this weekend. Or actually, that is going to be coming up next. My bad. So soon, TM, stick around in about 10 ish, 15 ish, 20 ish minutes ish. Soon, TM is what I've been told from Leo. So, yep, soon, TM. So don't go anywhere if you want to stick around for the map pool showcase. Uh, that will be coming up. Luminite, that is going to do it. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll be back in a little bit 